how well do you know your menstrual cycle? Even if you think you know your menstrual cycle, you still need this information because there might still be some misinformation or misconception on on what you think you know. Menstrual cycle ranges between 21 days to 35 days. Now, your cycle can fall under this range. Some are in 21, some are 22, 23, 24, to 35. But research has it that the average woman has 28 days cycle. That doesn't mean that those that have 21 days or 35 days are abnormal. You start calculating your menstrual cycle from the first day of your period to the day before your next period. That is, the day before another period marks the last day of your cycle and the first day of another period marks the first day of another cycle. Normal menstrual flow are between 2 to 7 days. The ovulation day is between 24 hours. The ovulation day is not 14 days into your cycle. It's where the misconception comes with a lot of people. This is where a lot of people have the misinformation. The ovulation day is not 14 days into your cycle, except you have a 28-day cycle. It is 14 days before your next flow. The fertile day are between 3 to 5 days, but in some cases, 7 days. Let, let us make some illustration using the phone calendar. I'll be making an example with a 30-day cycle. I don't want to use the average 28-day cycle. I want to use a different cycle, which is a 30-day cycle, because I stated it that it can be from 21 days to 35 days. Now, let's say I started menstruating on the 21st of January. So, on the 21st, 20. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, I had my menstruation flow. That is my menstrual flow. These are my menstruation days, five days. I had my period for five days. Okay. So now we're going to go from 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 are my free days. There are the days I'm free to have sex without the fear of pregnancy. Now from the 1st of February, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th days are known as my fertile days. Now the places that signify the F and V are known as my fertile days. So the place where I marked the V that is number six, is known as my ovulation demo. So this is what leads to conception. Once you don't have, one, if you don't ovulate, that there might not be chances of conception except you go through um, an assisted method. Now, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, why are they known as fertile days? When even when they are not ovulation day, is because the span can last in the body for about three to five days, and in some cases, it can even last for seven days. So, we have got to be careful if you have to meet your partner, you have to have sex with your partner even three days before your ovulation, four days, or five days, or even six days to your ovulation conception might take place because the sperm may be deposited in your body and it will be waiting for the release of an egg. And once it happens, that means pregnancy. It has a high chances of pregnancy to occur. And even the place where the number seven that signifies the F is also a fertile day because the ovulation lasts between 24 hours and it might fall into the seventh day the day seven again so now eight the day eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen of the february fourteen fifteen sixteen 
17, 18, 19 are your free days. These days you can have sex without the fear of pregnancy. Now the P, this is another cycle, the beginning of another cycle. So we are not going to talk much about that one. Now, if you want to know um, your cycle, if your cycle is 21 days or 22 days or 30 days or 28 days, this is what you will do. First day that your period shows for the month, you mark that day. For the another month again, the day your period shows again, the day your period begins for that month, you mark it. And the third one, you go again the third, for the third month. The day your period starts or begins again, you mark it again. If you have gotten three, three of those months, you can use it to know if your, your menstrual cycle is either 21 days, 30 days, 35 days, 32 days, and so on. So if you have three and you counted it, okay, this is where my period started. This is the first day of my period. And the for the next period, this is the first day for the next month this is the first day my period started for the other month again so if you count it if it's between the space of 28 days or it is between the space of 30 days or it is between the space of 29 days that is your menstrual cycle but for you to get an accurate menstrual cycle you need about three months of your period to get an to get an accurate days of your menstrual cycle so please if you have not subscribed to my channel Please do well to subscribe. Please, please, please. Thank you.